The Ashraf Hakimi Divorce Saga. Hide the money, y'all. There's poor people around. <laughs> A few moments later. It's oh, not no. fair. Moroccan international and PSG soccer star Ashraf Hakimi has gone viral in the last couple of weeks for one of the wildest reasons I have ever seen. Let me break it down for you. Okay. Last month, Hakimi was indicted on charges of, let's call it grape, for the sake of the YouTube algorithm, by French authorities. Later that same month, Hakimi's wife, Spanish TV actress Hiba Abouk, announced over social media that she had filed for divorce from her husband. Because I guess that's how you do it these days. Now, here's where the story gets really spicy. In the divorce filings, Abouk demanded that she get half not a quarter, not a third, but half of all of Hakimi's assets, including his salary. Now, I know in today's society, women are very quick to say, girl, he cheated on you, take all his shit. I don't really agree with that, unless you guys built that empire together. If he was on the come up and you were on the come up, then I think you guys should just keep your own stuff. But hey, I digress. So Hiba Abouk showed up to court making all these demands, expecting that it was an open and shut case. There is no your half of the money. There is only my all of it. Do you understand? But oh man, was she in for a surprise. What? Once the documents were filed and Hakimi's assets were assessed, it turns out that Hakimi, although he had signed a contract for five years, 70 million euros in 2021 to play for PSG, Turns out that he had almost nothing to his name, including his salary. Huh? Now you must be asking yourself, how in the world is that possible? Well, turns out that Hakimi had put over 80% of everything he owns in his mom's name. Genius, genius, genius. That's right. Hakimi then unlocked the greatest divorce loophole of all time. Well, his mama did. Mom was right. So Hakimi showed up to court like Neo when he unlocked the Matrix. Hiba showed up to court like, you're going to give me half of everything. And all Hakimi had to say was, no. The minute, and I mean the minute, that the divorce papers were filed, Hakimi must have turned and looked at his mom like, You the real MVP. And rumor has it that now that Hakimi appears to have less than Abub does on paper, she's going to have to pay him half of her assets. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Now I know, I know, a lot of women are going to be looking at this video as of this point and are going to look at me and say, this is misogynist, this is sexist. Now remember, the mom is the hero in this story. And before you make up your mind, let me give you a little bit of background to this story. Ooh. When Abouk and Hakimi started dating back in 2018, Abouk was 31 years old, while Hakimi was 19 years old. That shit is wrong! At the time, Abouk was working on Spanish television, while Hakimi had just been named the world's Young Arab Player of the Year. Now I'm sorry, but at the age of 19, you're a horny idiot. So if a fly woman, not a girl, not a young lady, a fly woman tries to holla at you, of course you're going to say, Oh, they don't mean nothing to me. And as much as people want to say, I'm sorry, but it is. To all the women out there who are saying that I'm wrong for this, I have one question for you. Let's just say that you had a son who was 19 years old, who was a soccer phenom who was on the fast track to being a millionaire. And he brought home a 31-year-old actress. Now, do you really, really think that you would trust her intentions? Go ahead. Tell me that you would trust her intentions. Okay. I didn't think so. Most of you wouldn't even want your 19-year-old son watching MILF Manor, let alone getting with a 31-year-old actress. Next. Let's think about the fact that they got married the exact same month that their first child arrived. Nah, that doesn't sound like a shotgun wedding at all. 
Right. But Jet, they were in love. Stop making it sound like she groomed him or something. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> eh, I guess that's why afterwards when she gave an interview, she called the marriage a failed project. Yep, that doesn't sound like grooming. That sounds like love. What's love got to do? Got to do with it. In a world filled with Britney Renners and Larza Pippins, at the very least, it's going to cause people with bad intentions to pause before trying to take advantage of a situation. It's true. And hey, maybe Hakimi really is just a city boy, city boy. But in reality, the odds of a successful relationship between a 19 year old boy and a 31 year old woman? <laughs> and again, this could have all been avoided. Now, I don't know the rules for women, but I do know that for men, the lowest you can go is your age divided by two plus seven. It's simple. That's it. And once again, I do not condone what he did or didn't do. But I really think that this story is about a mother's love and the fact that this mother knew her son better than he knew himself. Instead of fighting with her son or pushing for a prenup, she simply said, hey, it's okay. Just put everything in my name, just in case. And that's why Hakimi was able to show up to court and say, I have nothing, nothing, nothing. Now I will say this. When I was 13 years old, my mom told me to go talk to a girl. Not date, not pursue. She just said, go talk to that girl. I like the way that she presents herself. Well, I married her. And on my wedding day, look who was by my side. I'm just saying. Uh,